Ever wondered why some people go bald while others keep a full head of hair well into their golden years? It's a mystery that has intrigued scientists and hair enthusiasts for centuries. The prevalence of baldness varies greatly, affecting some early in life, while others sail through decades without losing a strand. The reasons behind this hair disappearing act are as complex and varied as the people it affects. So, if you've been scratching your head over this hairy conundrum, well, you're in the right place to find out. First off, there's no escaping your genes. Now don't let that statement scare you. It's just a way of saying that our genetic makeup plays a significant role in many traits we inherit, including the possibility of experiencing baldness. When we talk about baldness, we're often referring to androgenetic alopecia, a common form of hair loss in both men and women. Its name gives us a hint about its roots. Andro points to androgens, the hormones involved, and genetics signifies its hereditary nature. So how does this work? Well, each of us carries two copies of every gene, one from our mother and one from our father. Some genes are dominant, meaning they mask the effect of the other, while others are recessive and get masked. The gene for baldness is actually a bit of a unique case. It's what we call an autosomal dominant trait, meaning you only need one copy for it to potentially express itself. But here's a myth we need to debunk. Many believe that baldness strictly comes from your mother's side. That's not entirely true. Yes, a key gene for baldness is located on the X chromosome, which men inherit from their mothers. However, research suggests other genes inherited from both parents are also at play. So if you're noticing a receding hairline or thinning crown, it might not just be about age or stress. It could be your genetic lottery at work. So if you're going bald, you might want to thank your ancestors. Next up, your hormones might be throwing a curveball at your hair. Now, hormones are chemical messengers that travel around your body, telling your cells what to do. And one hormone, in particular, seems to have a lot to say about your hair. It's called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short. Imagine DHT as a bit of a party pooper. You see, DHT has a knack for shrinking hair follicles. Picture a lush, vibrant garden slowly wilting away. That's your hair follicles on DHT. The smaller the follicle, the thinner and shorter the hair it produces. Over time, the hair might stop growing altogether, leading to baldness. But here's the thing. DHT isn't necessarily a villain. It's essential for developing male characteristics during puberty. It's just that in some folks, their hair follicles are more sensitive to it, which can lead to hair loss. Hormones, they can be a hairy situation indeed. Now, what if I told you your lifestyle could be making you lose your hair? It sounds like a plot twist, doesn't it? Well, it's true. Our day-to-day -day habits, the stress we carry, the food we eat, they all play a role in the health of our hair. Let's start with stress. Our bodies respond to stress by diverting resources away from non-essential functions like hair growth. And voila, hair loss. Moving on to our diet, our hair thrives on a balanced one. Proteins, vitamins, and minerals are a must. Starving the hair of these nutrients can lead to thinning and eventually, hair loss. And let's not forget about habits like smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. These can interfere with the absorption of essential nutrients, leading to weaker hair strands and, you guessed it, hair loss. So, it's clear that a balanced lifestyle is key to healthy hair growth. Remember, what's good for your body is good for your hair too. So, we've unraveled the mystery of baldness, but what now? We've journeyed together through the complex labyrinth of hair loss, touching upon the pivotal roles of genetics, hormones, and lifestyle in shaping our crowning glory, or the lack thereof. Genetics, as we've discovered, set the stage, with certain genes making some of us more predisposed to losing our locks than others. Hormonal havoc, particularly the testosterone derivative, DHT, is another prime player in this story, wreaking havoc on our hair follicles. And let's not forget the impact of lifestyle factors from stress to poor nutrition that can fast forward our journey to baldness. But remember, baldness is not a sign of weakness or something to be ashamed of. It's a natural part of life for many, and it's as unique and individual as you are. The way our hair grows, or doesn't, is just one small aspect of who we are. Bald or not, remember, it's what's inside that counts the most. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness, and a peaceful sky.